often don't have a lot of information on a relative landscape scale for where wildlife are moving and where critical habitats are, especially year-round. The major goal of the project is that we are using scientific research to get this really sound evidence for how wildlife are moving across the landscape so that it directly affects some type of management protocol so that wildlife are better able to habituate this area, but we're not necessarily taking away from the amazing recreational gem that really is the Wasatch. So we want to look at what we call a wildland urban interface, or an area where developed land intermingles with undeveloped land. So there are massive data gaps throughout the Wasatch Mountains, specifically in the central Wasatch Mountain Range, which is from City Creek Canyon to Little Cottonwood Canyon, because this area is the most highly trafficked national forest in the entire country. What we mean by data gaps are just areas throughout the landscape where we do not know a lot about the wildlife that is living there, whether it's what type of habitat they're using, how they're getting around, how many of them there are on the landscape. These kind of necessary information are missing throughout much of the central Wasatch. So if we're trying to plan things like uh, transportation corridors for people and avoid fragmenting their habitat further or maybe even improving their ability to move across the landscape, it's really useful information to have. The Wasatch Wildlife Watch engages citizen science or community scientists in the collection of data. This is really valuable because we have over 200 sites across the Wasatch Mountain Range. Motion sensing cameras are a really good way and non-intrusive way to gather that sort of information. And so rather than um, a handful of researchers being responsible for over 200 sites, we have volunteer teams that take ownership or stewardship over a site and the camera and they move it throughout the field season. Citizen science, we can expand the area that we're looking at, we can add a lot of cameras to the landscape, and we can get a lot of data. And if we have a larger sample size, we have a better idea of what's going on, we have a larger area, we can do more comparisons and better statistical analysis. We have uh, millions of photos at the end of this project that will need to be sorted through, and uh, community scientists also support that photo or data analysis portion of the project, and we just couldn't do it without the support of community science. I'm an active hunter, and I feel that it's important to kind of give back to wildlife in a way to help protect the resource. Wasatch Wildlife Watch Project is a great way to do that by helping the wildlife managers and biologists and everybody understand where the animals are and how they uh, migrate from point A to point B. Along the Wasatch Front, growth and development is going to happen. If that can be managed in a way that's compatible with the wildlife that's here, that's great. But first we need to understand where their migration corridors are. When I'm looking for an ideal site for a camera setup, I'm looking somewhere where I, it's likely that animals are gonna be moving through. There's food sources nearby, water, or just a, a way to get from point A to point B. I'm also looking for a place where I can set the camera up looking northward so that the camera is not exposed to the sun all the time. My love for nature and, and animals and just being outdoors drove me to get into the project.